Hello, we're Molly Mish. After 10 years exploring all there is to see in US, Canada, and Mexico, we built a camper out of a four-wheel drive Mercedes Sprinter van and headed across the pond to continue our journeys in Europe. After enduring year-long self-imposed isolation in Croatia during the height of the pandemic, we are ready to resume our European adventures. This summer, we're headed to the Irish and British Isles, starting with the Republic of Ireland. Join us as we explore and discover the magic of the Emerald Isle. Eight, seven, nine. One, two, three, four. There's eight horses. Nine. Ten. There's ten horses. Nine. Ten. They keep coming. These are like draft horses. They're huge. Yeah. You're having too much fun here. We have to put an end to that. Too many shrews have lost their lives because of you. Usually on moving days, like today, we're packing up the van, trying to get out of here. We don't let them out just in case we can't catch them. But they've been actually doing really good lately. They'll come to us, they'll let us pick them up. We don't have to wait for them to want to come back. When we need them, we can usually get them. And Twin's the hard one. Twin's the one that usually isn't very food motivated. So she uh, she came back, or she came to me. So I was able to pick her up. She doesn't like being held. So I put her in the van really quick, shut the door, because we're pretty much packed up, ready to go. We spent two nights at this place. Really nice place. Not necessarily the most scenic, but it is beautiful still. Just kind of a grassy berm, sand berm with grass grown over it. But really good spot for the cats. They just loved it. They were out roaming about all the time. Caught a few critters. Try to catch birds, which we, uh, we try to scare the birds away when they get too close. Some of these birds are just, maybe they don't know that they're in danger. Some of these birds got really close to them. We're gonna go today. We're gonna drive around the Dingle Peninsula. There's some things on our list that we're gonna go check out. There's still a lot to see and we're over two weeks now in uh, Ireland and I think our plan is to spend four weeks here so we save some time for the UK. But for now our goal is to find Toby, get him back. This is where Toby has been hanging out. This is where the shrews and the little mice have been uh, crawling about. So he should be around here somewhere. He'll be back before we know it. Toby came back. <laughs> Toby was hiding under the car, maybe on the maybe. skid plates. Maybe. Maybe. We're in the bushes, I don't know. Yeah. Oh, he only loves you! He loves everybody! <laughs> he just wants to be held like this. I hold him like this and he doesn't care. Yeah, he leaves. You gotta hold hmm. underneath his armpit so his I leg is like dangling. He needs he needs a chicken wing action. <laughs> Goodbye, patio chase. You and your delicious looking fish and chips. So we're just driving around the end of the Dingle Peninsula, all the way down to the end. Two-way road, believe it or not, as a lot of these roads have been. But this is where uh, Star Wars built the replica beehive huts that are based on the beehive huts that are on Skellig Michael Island. They didn't want to film there or they couldn't film there probably but they didn't want to film there so they rebuilt it based on those huts right here on the Dingo Peninsula so it's up here somewhere 
where they uh, used some space, some land on the edge of a cliff that sort of doubled as the beehive huts that are seeing on the uh, on the island over there because these these sheer cliffs that are off to the side of us are very similar to what it's like on the island and I don't know how much you can see from the road or if we can even get out there to that piece of land but I did find exactly where it is I have the GPS coordinates we just uh, yeah don't know how much of it is, is accessible but we're gonna at least try to drive near it see what we can see So today we tried to drive up Connor Pass, which is one of the highest mountain passes in Ireland. And there aren't very many big mountains in Ireland. And I think over there, like that, that might be Connor Pass. Had we driven across Connor Pass, we would have ended up on this side of the Dingle Peninsula, which is the north side. We're sort of in the northeast side of the Dingo Peninsula now, just about to kind of wrap around up to the next little stretch of coast. But Connor Pass is, uh, I think, 10% grade, which is not crazy, but it is pretty narrow. And there are sections that uh, doesn't allow very heavy vehicles. Uh, I think it's six feet is the max width and two tons so we're wider and heavier so we didn't drive all the way through Connor Pass we were able to drive to the top where the top of the pass is and we came back down the same way and it was just crazy like white out basically it was in those clouds and it was zero visibility practically and super windy we didn't even get out of the car so drove back down but what we did see today though when we left the campground from last night is we drove by what's called Slea Head Drive. Uh, really amazing drive. And I got the time lapse of it, of us driving through. And there's some sections that are just sheer cliff, stone, low stone wall, stone cliff on the other side. Uh, just enough room for one car to pass. Some places where you can scoot one car over a little bit and then get get around. We had a couple of really, really tight squeezes, but we managed to get through, no problem. We also, uh, yeah, we got to see Sybil Head. Sybil Head is uh, another sort of rock outcropping. Has a really cool slope that goes up to the top, similar to Cary Cliff, the Cliffs of Cary. And it is in fact where Star Wars, the last Jedi, built the Jedi Temple. They basically built a replica Jedi Temple just like the Beehive Huts on Skellig Maiko Island. Because the Beehive Huts on Skellig Maiko is a UNESCO World Heritage Site, they can't actually do the things, do the filmings that, the kind of filming they wanted to do on the island. So they built a replica right there on Sybil Head 
and uh, you can drive out to it. There's no road, but you can see it from from a distance. So it was really cool. There was a lot of people today. It was pretty crowded. It's a Tuesday, which I'm surprised because we got here to Dingle on a Sunday, and it wasn't nearly as crowded when we got here. But today there were just so many cars, a, a lot of people, a lot of people at Lidl, a lot of people at the parking lot of the beach this morning when we left. So we wanted to find a quiet place, which we found another beach and uh, similar to the place we were at yesterday, except the road is smaller. It's a little bit more treacherous and less spaces to camp, but we did find a spot. We thought it was good and we let the cats out because this is the kind of stuff they love playing in. But it turns out a lot of people bring their dogs off leash here. So right away there was a lady with two dogs and they came right up to our car and like the cats went underneath into the engine bay and those dogs went right up to the engine and started like sticking their head in there. I don't know, kind of kind of spooked the cats a little bit. So we'll see if they get brave enough to go out again. Um, but yeah, we're going to go check out the beach right now. Marlene and Mila are back in the car. I'm out here with Ava and Luca checking out the beach. Let's see how it is. I don't know if we can get across. We're going to have to stay on this side. Yeah, I'm high-ish. Yeah, you're going you're gonna to be underwater, so. Now I'm low. Because the sand is so soft. Oh, yeah. It's more, uh, it's more saturated with water. Sea glass. Yeah. Looks like these guys are looking for wood to burn. For a campfire? Yeah, maybe. I don't want to go that water is going really fast through here, huh? Look how fast it is. The boogie boards we don't have. What if we get ourselves to just float down? Can we? Well, you guys know how to swim. Yeah. Yeah, if you had tubes, then it would be cool. Point break right here. Look at that. If you were a foot tall. Just as the tide's coming in, this little point wraps around the sandbar. Makes a little perfect peeler. <laughs> 